there's one really common nutritional deficiency behind constipation I'm going to share with you today. It's, this is actually very, very interesting, and it makes a lot of sense once you get all the information. Um, I want to start here with a couple facts. Um, there are more nerves in your gut than there are in your spinal column. You also have a very uh, long nerve called the vagus nerve that goes between your brain and your gut. And it's bi-directional, which means it goes up and down. It carries information back and forth. Now, the vagus nerve is connected to the lower part of the brain called the brain stem. And in that brain stem, you have the core of something called the autonomic nervous system, the system that runs on automatic, okay? Now, many times people think there's just two parts to that. You have the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic, but you have actually a third part. It's called the enteric. And so that is called the second brain and it innervates the entire gut and it's all nerve tissue. And the reason I'm telling you that is this, the brain stem, or shall I say the autonomic nervous system is very vulnerable to thiamine deficiencies. That's vitamin B1 deficiencies. When you don't have enough thiamine, all sorts of things go wacko with the autonomic nervous system. And this especially rates to anything nerve, okay? Like the nerve innervation to the smooth muscle in your gut, which controls something called peristalsis. I mean, if you think about what constipation really is, it's a lack of peristalsis. The peristalsis is not working. You're not pumping uh, waste through the body. And so it's stagnant, it's not in motion. If you've ever heard of a severe B1 deficiency, it's called beriberi. But there's a part of beriberi called gastrointestinal beriberi, which involves the blocking of peristalsis. Your intestines just don't pump anymore. So things just kind of sit there. And so this occurs because there is a B1 deficiency that is in the brain stem that controls all these nerves from above the brain stem and especially the autonomic nervous system depend on getting enough B1. And so when they don't have enough, the vagus nerve cannot use acetylcholine to allow this to occur. And so acetylcholine is like a hormone within your nervous system, okay? It depends on vitamin B1. You see, you normally you're supposed to eat food. You have all this acid in the stomachs, breaking down the protein, creating an environment which kills uh, pathogens, okay? the absorption of certain uh, minerals. And the food comes down this little pipe right here and you have this little sac called the gallbladder that secretes a bile that helps you start breaking down the fats with the help of the pancreas. And the pancreas also releases additional enzymes to break down this food stuff right here. And then you have the small intestine right here. And 90% of all the digestion occurs in the small intestine, right? And then it empties into the large intestine where you have um, more uh, digestion and fermentation of things that are not digested, or we don't have the capacity to digest like fiber, and then it comes out through here. And so when people have constipation, we have a backup of this whole system. And so, so people will start taking uh, probiotics, they'll start taking uh, betaine hydrochloride, they'll take purified bile salts, they'll take enzymes, and sometimes they depend on either medication like laxatives or even herbal uh, laxatives, which are much better. But when you have to keep taking something over and over and over, it's obvious that you haven't found the right problem. And I'm not against taking laxatives if they're herbal, as long as you at the same time try to correct what's really going on. Because the danger of constipation is greater than the danger of taking laxatives because it's called auto intoxication where the waste just sits there. Okay. It just sits there. It doesn't go through the body and it can back up and create a lot of toxicity. Not only does a thiamine deficiency cause this peristalsis problem, but a thiamine deficiency also inhibits HCL in the stomach. It inhibits your stomach acid. Okay. The stuff that you need to break down protein. So if you have undigested protein, that alone can cause constipation. You need this acid to also kill microbes so you don't develop microbes in the wrong place, like in your small intestine, which is called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, 
which comes from a lack of hydrochloric acid. So that's an interesting connection. Low vitamin B1, thymine, also inhibits gastric motility. I'm talking about the motility of your stomach, not just your intestines, but the stomach motility too. And so a version of that condition is called gastroparesis, where everything is kind of just really sluggish going through the digestive system. And I've done a video on gastroparesis before, which basically is this slowing down of your digestion being caused by diabetes, because diabetes involves high level of carbohydrates and sugar, which is one of the primary causes of a B1 deficiency. Refine carbohydrates or refine sugar as in the breads, the pasta, the cereal, the crackers, the biscuits, the pancakes, et cetera. So you eat a lot of carbohydrates, you get diabetes, you create a B1 deficiency, and then you get gastroparesis, not to mention a lot of other problems with the nervous system. But this is a side note, by diabetics typically get peripheral neuropathy. The bottom of their feet becomes numb, burning, painful because of a lack of B1. B1 deficiency affects the nervous system at many different levels. And so what we're talking about here is the relationship and connection between a B1 deficiency and your autonomic nervous system, which originates in the brainstem, but extends out through the vagus nerve and into the enteric nervous system. Now, a B1 deficiency can also inhibit pancreatic enzymes, okay? So now we can't release the enzymes to digest. 90% of your digestion occurs in the small intestine with a lot of help from that pancreas right here. Also, a B1 deficiency, like I just said, causes gastroparesis and another condition, which I'm going to define, biliary dyskinesia. Now, what is biliary dyskinesia? That is simply a sluggish gallbladder. The gallbladder should contract and release bile. But with this condition, it doesn't. It's sluggish. Okay, so we're not talking about a lack of bile. We're just talking about the, the muscular, the soft tissue that's supposed to be contracting and releasing the bile. Well, you're going to actually have less bile to help you digest. And that all comes from a B1 deficiency. So as you can see, the common thread behind constipation is a lack of thiamine. Now, if you're going to take a thiamine remedy, B1 remedy, I would highly recommend you find one that is natural, not synthetic. Now, since we're on the topic of B1, there's a lot more to know about it. It's a fascinating vitamin. Uh, you should check out this video I did uh, at my, one of my summits. I'll put it up right here. Check it out.